but don't do learning and development if it's not aligned with your strategic plan. I see a lot of companies that want to add training and add skills to people, which makes a lot of sense, but sometimes they don't consider how it aligns with their organizational goals. So my name is Anthony Taylor. I run a company called SME Strategy. I'm a senior facilitator, travel all around the world to work with senior leadership teams, not only to support them in aligning around a clear strategic direction, but training and supporting them to implement their plan. And we do a lot of training and development and training and development is a super important thing to have within your organization. What sometimes happens is within organizations, the learning and development or the HR and the people teams are not aligned in general to the corporate objectives, and potentially they are doing training and development that is taking away from the ability to focus and align on you know, the organization success. So a couple of things I wanted to share with you, if you are either in an executive leadership position or on the people teams and you want to do training development, which I think is a good thing, but you have to make sure or invite you to consider that are you doing the right training and development at the right time for your organization? So number one, as I mentioned, make sure that it's aligned. You know, are the things that you're teaching and training on aligning to those corporate objectives and the priorities, you know, We've got 20 different training modules we could deliver at any one time, but there are modules that are better for the timing and the needs of the organization. The only way you're going to be able to figure out what is going to have the biggest bang for your buck is to make sure that they're aligned because it's going to be relevant, it's going to be timely, and it's going to support people in accomplishing what they want. Number two is focus. You know, while you within your function may have some really good training, in fact, it could be the best training that anyone's ever seen. The most amazing revolutionary training. However, if it's not applicable, relevant, or timely to what an organization is dealing with right now, it's going to distract their focus. They might be focused over here and you're doing training over here. And so they might try to make the connections, but it's a lot of work that they need to do to connect what you're teaching them over here to what they're working on over here. So you know, it's important to have that alignment and it's important to make sure that you're maintaining the focus to support the critical activities that the organization's undertaking. The third part about really good training and when you have really good training and development um, that aligns and is focused with the corporate objectives is that you have the opportunity for application. So for us, when we do a training module, it's not just knowledge, but it's application. So we teach the concept, but we also uh, make sure that it's relevant and applicable to a real life situation. So that it's more of a workshop versus a, you know, reading presentation kind of thing. So if it's a good training module, it helps actually move the needle on those critical, important deliverables. So whether that's prioritization, whether that's project management, whether that's change management, whether that's communication, critical conversations, I could go on and on. There's probably a need, an immediate need, an immediate problem, immediate use case where you can apply that training and development so that they can actionably use it. In a couple of weeks, I'm going to be doing a training on strategic thinking. So the strategic thinking is not done at the corporate level, it's done in the middle managers for them to be able to question and to be able to better understand the strategic implications of decisions that they make. So we're going to say, what are some strategic decisions that you're being faced with right now? What are the resource constraints that you have right now? And how can you apply the strategic thinking model that we're teaching here to your day-to-day -day situation? And how can that thinking in perspective, ultimately align back to the corporate objectives. So don't misuse training and use the training to be able to move forward everybody's initiatives, because then they're going to say, hey, that was really great use of my time. That was especially valuable. It was especially relevant and timely. Um, and the, the thing I'll say again is, or just in time learning is how we think of things. As learning and development practitioners, we want everybody to learn everything all at once but it's not realistic. So having the partnership between your L&D team, learning and development, and your strategy leads or your uh, functional leads to say, hey, what are what is the learning and development that I could apply right now that will support us in getting over this next hump? Most of the time in organizations, if you get to a sticking point, it's either a knowledge gap, uh, understanding gap, or a skills gap. 
And so that's where the learning and development teams or a learning and development practitioner like SME strategy can come in and help your team getting over that gap. One that we see a lot of times is prioritization. We do so much help with prioritization, but from a training perspective, say, hey, we got our vision, we got all of these things that we're working on, and now we're getting overwhelmed and we're stuck. We're not making progress. Great. Let's retrain on uh, prioritization to help us whittle through and make sure that we're focused on what's most important. If everything is high urgency and high importance, then we then have to decide on some other rubric how that's going to work. Or the other day I was leading a workshop with a team and we had to go back to goal setting. Now, goal setting is sometimes foundational or it's always foundational, but the goals might change over time. So if we forget how to do effective goal setting, then we'll get back into our old ways of working with actions versus outcomes. So all training development is a muscle. And so you need to be able to build that muscle at the right time for the right needs. And it needs to be aligned to your corporate strategy. The last piece I'll say is scaffolding learning. It's an adult learning best practice. It's something that we embody at SME Strategy to help learning stick. And so if I run a four-day training workshop and I teach everything under the sun about strategic thinking or about learning and development, just that I know everybody needs to know, it's going to fall away because there's no way that your brain, anybody's brain, can a, retain all that knowledge and B, apply all of that knowledge in the right way. So how we've designed our implementation programs is that we do a learning and development module monthly in between our quarterly and monthly strategy reviews so that we can add a concept, execute on that concept, build on the concept, learn on the concept, then add another one that complements it. So for example, we might do team development and charters, and then we'll do culture and behavior, and then we'll do communications and expectation, and then we'll do something else, managing conflict. So all of the learning builds on itself. Um, I recently did a video about what a good agenda looks like for a strategy meeting, and it's the same idea. You need to build the concepts on the concepts on the concepts so that it deepens the first concept, but supports it in sticking. So we talk about learning and development. There's kind of five things I want you to remember. One, alignment. It's got to be aligned to the corporate objectives. Two, focus. It needs to be very clear on what you're hoping to accomplish so it doesn't distract from what you're doing. Third, application. Make sure that those concepts are applicable on a real life problem that they're dealing with, not just training for training's sake, but training to help them overcome an exact need challenge that they have right now. Fourth, just in time is, you know, having the right timing in the organization and not training for future needs somehow, but making sure that it's relevant and timely for the needs of the team right now. And different teams might have different needs. So that's why having a good learning and development program um, is helpful because you can spot fix issues with the right training at the right time. And then uh, fifth and finally is scaffolding learning, adult learning best practice, making sure that you're building concepts on top of concepts on top of concepts to make sure that that learning and development sticks. So don't do learning and development. Don't do training unless it's aligned with your strategic goals. If you've got a good structure, a good system for aligning all of that, you're going to get greater uh, returns on your investment in learning and development. You're going to get greater uptick from people wanting to do it, and they're going to see how it um, is relevant. You know, one of the big challenges that we hear is people busy, they have too much meeting. And so it moves training from a nice to have to a must have. It's a great use of time because you're using it to move the needle, not just a requirement of saying, hey, we need to deliver XYZ training. So um, if you'd like to learn more about how to structure a learning and development plan that aligns with your strategic plan, talk to us at SME Strategy. Our team will walk you through our process um, and the 20 odd modules that we have that we can lead with your team. Um, and if you have done strategic planning already um, and you're just wanting to bolster your ability to implement your strategy, um, we can help you with that 
two, as well as uh, in addition to the training, the quarterly and monthly strategy reviews and project plans. So I hope that helps. I'd love to hear what you do, how you think about training and development um, in the comments. If you know somebody who's saying, hey, we need to do training and development a lot better, um, reach out to us. We'd be happy to support. Um, I appreciate you for watching. Appreciate you being here. Uh, thanks for connecting with us. And please feel free to connect with me personally at Anthony C. Taylor, pretty much everywhere on the internet. All right. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.